Have you ever wondered what would happen if all of the London clubs were in their own league? No? Well, keep watching the video because we're going to find out anyway. So guys, what we're doing for today's FIFA 19 experiment is loading all of the playable London clubs in FIFA 19 into their own league. Now we have used the Scottish SPL for this experiment. That is purely and simply because the SPL is the only league that I could think of that had 12 available slots in it. So we are going to be controlling Charlton Athletic for obvious reasons for this little experiment. We also have in this league Chelsea, Crystal Palace, Fulham, Millwall, QPR, Spurs, Watford, West Ham, AFC Wimbledon, Arsenal and Brentford as well. Now you may be wondering why Watford are in here. I know they are, I believe from Hertfordshire, but I believe that players consider Watford pretty much a London club, you know, if they're considering a move in real life and that kind of thing. So some of you may agree with this, some of you may not, but we are going with it for the purpose of this experiment. So let's advance now. So we have selected our name, we have selected our manager sprite, and the next thing that we're going to do is disable the transfer window just so that it's a completely level playing field and nobody is able to make any signings early on. We're gonna advance with that, we're gonna stick it on world-class difficulty, everything else is fine, and as we load up I'll just go over exactly what we are going to do in this experiment so we are going to simulate eight full seasons with this London League we are then going to take each table and work out who the most successful team was and who the least successful team was so we'll advance these invites in fact no we won't we'll decline to participate because there is absolutely no benefit in a pre-season tournament for this particular experiment so as you can see down here in the league standings no games have been played no teams have scored any points so far so if we go up here to the calendar and skip all the way through through to April where our last fixture will be we can simulate all the way to just after the last match day of the season so we will continue with this we'll go to the 15th of April and we'll see how the first league standing looks like And so the first season has finished simulating. We can come out of here now and see where everybody finished in the league. So just on a glance here, no major surprises. We've got Charlton finishing 11th out of 12, AFC Wimbledon, uh, currently the worst ranked team in th this experiment, Charlton the second worst ranked team in this experiment. They do finish bottom and second bottom with 15 and 17 points respectively. Millwall in 10th, QPR, Brentford, Fulham, Crystal Palace going up, uh, West Ham, Watford, Arsenal, Chelsea and Spurs winning the first league for this experiment for London team. So interesting. It's good to see, or it's interesting to see that the team ratings actually make sense because often on career mode, you'd get like Watford for me last year on FIFA 18 was such a powerhouse. They would win leagues. They would get Champions League qualification season after season and it just wasn't overly realistic. So nothing too interesting in there. No big surprises. And let's move on now to the second experiment and the second season where we will see if anything's changed. So I've reloaded the save file from when there were no games played and we are going to go into our second season and our second experiment now in this uh, eight so this is two out of eight so if we go over here to april we're going to go right here again to the 15th and we'll see if anything changed from last time all right guys so as we got to december in this one as we were simulating we actually got this message that i have never seen before at least on the last i reckon three fifas where we actually got a contract terminated for Cholton. so we got sacked I've, i didn't even know that was possible then we get offered the afc wimbledon job which is luckily in the same league we accept that job and then a few weeks later we actually get an email through and we get that contract terminated as well and then who do they offer us the job for? Cholton, yet again. So actually, this is just a weird thing that I wanted to include, but it actually didn't affect the results of the experiment whatsoever. So yeah, weird one. So the second season is now over. And this time, as I'm sure you saw, we lost our job initially as the Cholton manager, then took up a job as AFC Wimbledon manager, and then they sacked us. And the only job offered to us then was yet again the Cholton job. So we did manage to avoid relegation. And this time, again, Wimbledon finished bottom, Cholton finished 11th, Millwall 10th, Brentford 9th, QPR 8th, Fulham 7th, Crystal Palace 6th, Watford 5th, Spurs 4th, West Ham 3rd this time, Chelsea 2nd and this time winning the league was Arsenal. So not too much changed at the bottom of the league this time but certainly at the top there was a completely different order of teams which shows that there is some variety to who is going to win things season in season out on career mode but it does also show that it stays pretty true to its star ratings and the worst teams will generally do worse. That's what we've discovered so far but there are still six seasons to go so let's see how this continues. All right guys the third simulation is over so I'm going to come out here and see if there's anything new and there actually is. Over here we 
can see that QPR finished below us, which is a nice sign for Charlton fans. AFC Wimbledon, very, very consistent at finishing bottom here. Uh, Millwall finished above us again. Palace just above them. Fulham, Brentford. Watford finished fifth this time, and the champions were Spurs, Chelsea, Arsenal, and West Ham making up the rest of the top four. I suppose it's not really a top four when there's a 12-team league, really, but I am still considering it a top four. And uh, Spurs winning their second title out of three here, so they could be the team to beat right now. There's five more simulations left to go, and Spurs right now are the hottest thing that we've seen. So AFC Wimbledon really, really need to improve themselves. We only beat QPR by two points here and I'm actually this time just going to go into the scores and fixtures to see if there was any real surprise results that stand out. So on the 4th of August Charlton did beat Millwall 1-0 which is nice to see. Charlton did beat Millwall on the 2nd of February at the Valley 1-0 and also there was a draw there between Millwall and Chelsea which I suppose is uh, mildly surprising and one thing I have noticed actually is we're not quite simming far enough because there are two teams that are only on 32 games played. It hasn't had a dramatic effect on any of the league standings so far but next time we will go all the way through to uh, about a week after Charlton's final game so that all of the games are finished so let's get in now to season four so we are halfway through now at the end of the fourth season and I actually simulated a little bit too far this time and I've gone into like this second phase thing that they have in the SPL I am going to go in and just see the normal standings though we'll have to go over here to first stage and see what the the table was like after 33 games basically so again Wimbledon finishing rock bottom we did get equal points this time with Millwall however and uh, any surprises here we actually had West Ham finishing above Spurs and Chelsea so they came runners up this time and Arsenal win their second league title Chelsea still haven't won yet so Spurs currently have two and Arsenal currently have two and AFC Wimbledon like I said prolific at finishing bottom of this table so we're going to move on now and see what the second half of the of the simulations are going to offer hopefully they can be something a little bit more interesting maybe Wimbledon not finishing bottom maybe someone like hopefully Cholton finishing like mid table or something like that that's what I'm hoping for but for now it is shared between Arsenal and Spurs for the glory of this experiment right so we are about to take a look at the league table at the end of season five now don't worry about this fixture and the rest of these fixtures these are the second Second phase fixtures that we don't need to worry about we are just looking at these leagues after 33 games have been played so let's have a look at how the league ended up wow no way oh that's actually the second stage again okay again we finished 11th I thought for a second that we finished fifth there but we absolutely did not uh, we actually finished in 11th place yet again just under Millwall and just above AFC Wimbledon this is really prolific but we are about to see which is becoming the most exciting narrative of this ex of, the, of this experiment who has won the league title this time so West Ham came fourth third was Arsenal if this is Spurs it means that it is a new champion and it's not it is Spurs getting in their third title so that is three titles for Spurs now in this London league and two for Arsenal still none for Chelsea so Chelsea would have to win the next three experiments the next three leagues in order to even be on par with Spurs which maybe suggests that Spurs are the best London team in the game right now Cholton again 11th Wimbledon again 12th Millwall again 10th actually I, th I feel like they've been 10th quite a lot so we're going to go into season six now we're getting to the exciting part and I really hope in one of these three remaining seasons we get something a little bit different at the bottom end of the table right so we are at the end of season six now let's see hopefully there is some sort of change at the bottom of the league table this time around we're going to go over to the to the first stage and no there is no change here Wimbledon again finishing bottom this time Mill will finish ninth QPR finished 10th above Charlton but we are finished 11th and Wimbledon have finished finished 12th every single time the winner of the league this time around again was Spurs this is pretty much confirmation that Spurs are the best London team on the game. They actually won less games than Chelsea, but also lost a lot less games as well. So Arsenal and Watford making up the other two teams in the top four there. West Ham Palace not having the best of seasons. Mid-table there for them. And yeah, everything else pretty much to be expected. One surprise there maybe was that Brentford, the championship side, did finish above Premier League side Fulham. Other than that, though, there is no huge surprise. And yes, yeah, Spurs are surely going to take the crown. They've won four out of... Uh, six 
league titles now in this experiment and Arsenal need to win the last two in order to even equal them. Chelsea now, Watford, West Ham, Palace, Fulham, Brentford, whoever else, they cannot catch Spurs. All right, so season seven out of eight is finished now and I'm praying that there is some sort of difference here at the bottom of the table as I've said so many times. We do have a 67 uh, manager rating which is actually I think one of the best that we've had so far. So where am I going? I need to go over here and look at the table. I don't know why it's giving me the Scottish Cup. That's a bit annoying but we are going to change competition to the league. Go over to the first stage and see we actually finished ninth. There we go and Millwall finished bottom. That is a nice little change up that I thought we may never see as we were getting towards the latter stage of this experiment. We have one season left but that is something really pleasing to see. Charlton finished ninth above QPR and Millwall and finally as well AFC Wimbledon and did not finish bottom. Millwall were the ones who were the worst ranked team this time around. So now just to see if Spurs have yet another title to their name in the London League. West Ham fourth, Arsenal third, Spurs second and Chelsea get their first uh, league title of this experiment. We have one more to go but that finally changes it up at both ends of the table. No Spurs or Arsenal winning the league and no Wimbledon getting relegated as well as Charlton finishing ninth out of 12, which for a club in League One is not bad considering all the other teams in this league are either Premiership or Championship other than Wimbledon. So final season now, let's see if there can be any more surprises in the very, very last experiment we're going to do with this one. So that's it then. Eight out of eight seasons have been completed and we are about to take a look at the final league standing of the SPL slash the London League. So let's have a look right now and I haven't actually seen who has come top, but yet again, Charlton have finished ninth, this time above Brentford, Wimbledon and QPR. So it took the very last two seasons and the very last two league standings for Wimbledon to get themselves off of the bottom spot. QPR this time finishing at rock bottom, Brentford finishing below Charlton, another championship team finishing below the League One team that is Charlton, Mill finishing above us, Palace, uh, Watford, Fulham, West Ham finishing fourth. So let's see who got the top spot this time. It wasn't Arsenal because they finished third and it wasn't Chelsea, it was Spurs again who finished top of the London League. So that confirms to me and what we've learned from this experiment I suppose is that the best London team on FIFA 19 is Spurs and the worst is definitely AFC Wimbledon, but Charlton have the definitely have the potential to finish above championship teams as we can see right here finishing above Brentford and QPR and I suppose maybe I would have liked to seen someone like Palace or West Ham or someone like that Watford win the league just to mix it up a bit from those two those three sorry dominant London teams Arsenal Chelsea and Spurs but it wasn't to be, but it's certainly very, very interesting experiment that we've just done that has given us a bit of an inside info or an inside look into how the teams are rated basically in London. So for me, yes, yeah, Spurs definitely the best team. So in career mode, watch out for Spurs. But that is it, guys. Make sure you let me know in the comments if you want me to do any different experiments, if you enjoyed this one. Other than that, leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel if you are new, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers, guys, and sweet.